Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a clipping mask tutorial. So at the start I'll just talk about how they work and the couple of things you can do with them and then we'll use the skills you learn to make this effect here, which is kind of cool. So I'll start by file new and then I've got 1500 by 2000 and 300 resolution so you can copy them if you want and then I need to grab the image so I'm just dragging dragging in from a file if you don't know how to do that you can just go file open and then find your image and then click open the only difference is if I drag it in like I did it um, it becomes a smart object straight away but if I do it this way it won't be, it will come up here and I'll have to drag it in so yeah and smart object is better for resizing because it keeps the quality which we will be doing so if yours isn't a smart object you can go Yeah, so just right click on it and convert to smart, ob smart object. <coughs> okay, so clipping mask how they work. So I'll just mm, hold the button down, go to the eclipse tool, and then hold, holding shift, drag down, make a circle. Then I'm going to use this one, so I'll put that up to the top. So you just click and drag to the top and right click create clipping mask so that's how they work there's lots of things you can do maybe you're like making a poster and you want to um, like have, have your image here and just or any kind of shape really to make a poster design or something and have your text down here there's a lot of different things you can do with them and even say if I go here Type tool. Tutorial. Oh, I'll click and drag this. I'll just copy this layer, duplicate, and I'll drag that above the word tutorial and then create clipping mask again and then dragging it up. And then I've got it on. Um, on my text set and to make it a little bit stand out a bit I'll go FX, lose the FX and just put a drop shadow on it so you can see it better yeah so that looks pretty cool as well so that's basically how they work and a couple of things you can do with them and um, now we'll do uh, this effect with clipping masks so you get to use what we just learnt in um, in a man manipulation or whatever we're doing with it, so I'll just get rid of these. Start off with, and um, you should have your the image there, which we so I'm just dragging back in because I'm going to start again, placing it. So I'm holding shift, I'm going to resize it just so I can have it in the center, I guess. And um, now I'm going to go layer, new, new layer. So for this effect, I'm going to make a clipping mask of the inside of the frame. So I'm going to use the pen tool. So click that one. And if you can't see the little pen, um, press caps lock and it changes that, it still works the same so click, I, I like using that one there and then we're just going to click around the frame to make yeah. so I'm just clicking click, click, keep going so we're not doing anything fancy with the pen tool it's just 
mostly straight lines. Um, so I don't know if people have <laughs> used the pen tool before, so um, I'll do a beginner's way of just clicking like this. It's not how I would usually use a pen tool, but oh, I think it will be easier for beginners if they just, without getting getting um, full into how the pen tool works, because I might talk about that another time. <coughs> so I'm just keep clicking around. A lot of people probably won't even notice that you've done this if you if you zoom in and do it really closely. Um, so I'll keep going. Zoom in again. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend a heap of time on it. I'm going pretty fast. I can save time. Um, so when you connect it to the la the first dot that you made, it will make this line. And then you go here, up here to selection, and it by one pixel it just makes the edge of your selection a little bit softer so it can make it more realistic I guess you po probably won't notice it with this but um, I know it helps sometimes so I have our selection on our new layer then we'll go edit fill and choose black from here okay then go back to that selection tool any selection tool do because I'm just going to go right click and deselect so now we have that filled with no selection alright so now I'm gonna go back to this click on our image layer duplicate layer and then click here again and drag it above our shape and create click and mask Now you grab the corner here, holding shift, holding shift you can um, resize it, but holding shift and alt at the same time brings it in from the center, which is what we're going to use. And that's how we make this effect. And um, to keep going, this is where it's kind of a little bit cool, because we don't have to do that again. Now we have it we can just go, so click on that one, and this one, ho I mean, holding shift you click on the next one, it selects both of them, and layer, duplicate layers, again, and then it's the new one, so you go down the corner again, hold shift and alt at the same time, and then drag it in again. You might want to zoom in for this bit so you can get right, but I'm just going to eyeball it from here so you can see what's going on, and then I'll just draw it there. And that's the that's the effect that I've that I've got, and um, you can keep going with this if you want to do so. Layer duplicate layers again, and then oh, holding shift and alt again, eyeballing it by, and then layer duplicate layers again, and you can keep going into until it's you can't see it basically. So it's kind of a cool effect. I like how with this image the dress is getting larger as well. But I think it works probably best with three. So I just went back there, like edit, step backwards, or control, alt, and z to go backwards. And that's the final effect. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you only have to make that once, and then the rest is pretty easy because we're just duplicating the layers and using them again. So that's the final effect. Hope you hope you liked it and um hopefully I'll have some more tutorials soon. Thanks for watching.